photography is starting to become one of the most mainstream forms of art. Everyone has a camera on their phone, but what divides a selfie from a piece of art? With most teens almost always on social media, such as Twitter and Instagram, it is becoming easier and easier to share their art, although there are always a few who will actually go the extra mile to get that breathtaking photo. I'm Chris Satterberry, 17. I do photography. I've been shooting photography for about three years now. My mom had this camera that I used to use, and that's how I kind of just got started in photography. Uh, whenever I got to shoot, I mean, like, I look for, like, motion and just colors. Long exposure photography is my favorite. I would like to travel over the world and shoot photography, but my advice for anyone trying to get into photography is just keep at it. Just keep practicing. Don't stop shooting. The thing is, I don't know that I'm shooting a good photo. Some of the photos that I think I'm gonna shoot well, like they don't turn out good at all. But then like some of the ones that I just took like randomly sometimes turn out better. Uh, my name is Craig Goddard. I teach art appreciation and digital and analog photography here at Derby High School. Uh, shooting photography since 1991 and teaching photography since 2002. I mainly fell into it. Uh, when I started here at Derby High School, I was teaching photography, drawing and painting, advanced drawing and painting, and clay, and realized I liked photography better than the other art mediums. And so I started phasing the other classes out so I could concentrate more on just teaching photography. It's an everyman art. Anyone who's willing to master the technology can make the art. To look at photography objectively and to separate the selfie mentality and the trash that's on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram from uh, traditional uh, fine art, from the stuff that they'd be willing to manufacture and create and put on a wall as opposed to the stuff they'd just be willing to put on social media. I was 18 years old and giving drum lessons to neighborhood kids and I realized that I actually liked watching people learn and enjoyed it. I thought it was really cool to watch the light bulb go on. And so uh, by the time I was a senior in high school, after giving those drum lessons, I realized that's what I wanted to do. Um, we're exposed to so much digital media today that it's not even funny. Uh, analog process makes you think. You have to work for the photo. Uh, you can't just hit a delete button and make it go away. You actually have to make sure that the photo should take a correct, otherwise you just wasted your money and your time. If you're going to get into photography, make sure you know what your niche is going to be. Um, if you're going to get into fine art photography, you're probably not going to get rich. Uh, you can do it on the side, but what you're probably going to have to do is specialize in wedding and portrait photography. Uh, if you're not going to go that route, then you need to get into photojournalism. And if you're going to get into photojournalism, you need to figure out, do you want to go to war zones? Do you want to do action photography, National Geographic type stuff, underwater, you know, adventure photography? Or are you going to be doing something more static like shooting, uh, you know, weddings or not weddings, um, shooting things like political campaigns and things of that nature that are a little less dramatic and a little less stressful. Cool. You bet.